it's there are the teams. There we go. So it is Aegis Cloud, yeah. and it is going to be Mega Man and Squirtle to start off with the Pokemon Trainer. But Squirtle is also a fantastic pick into both of these matchups, right? Yes. This is like somebody who can get it, who can actually challenge it, especially on the ground. Thanks to his fantastic mobility. But already you see Pip backing off. Okay. Still going to be coming on down with the back hit. Not going to be able to get anything going. Pip, fantastic shield after the grab. You know, just making sure that uh, he can get away from any situation. And right away we see the Foresight coming out on one of the Mega Man moves. That is a really important thing against Ooh. any projectile character. However, we see the Mega Man spike catching Mithra's side B. That is a dangerous move to go for, especially against Mega Man and basically anyone on PT. Yeah. But okay, you see Paradox going out there, looking for that downer, not going to be able to find that spike. Little Leaf Shield does not get it. That is exploitable because Mega Man can cancel the end lag of Leaf Shield by picking up a projectile. Yes. But uh, if it's just like on shield like that, you just up smash, up B, something quick, get it out there. And we're seeing Green Team do a good job taking stocks, and Pip is playing pretty well here, sitting below 100 on his first stock still. now exactly 100. Um, he's the only one on the first stock, and if they can get another stock off this Aegis soon, they're going to be in a really good spot here. But look at Apu just covering so much space. Paradox just a quick little back kick out of shield, punishing that unsafe on shield option. Dashing shielding has the good idea, but then just releases it a little bit too late. Okay, tries to come back in with a dash attack, and it's going to be actually losing uh, the full stock. Pip is now on two. And that dash attack does work out. Obviously did hit his teammate with that, but it kills the Pokemon trainer and not the, not the Cloud. So it is it does work out in the end for uh, Dill and Rich Homie. Uh, yeah. But Cloud drops there, there uh, to, to that move. This is going to be pretty rough for Red Team unless he just can hold on to the stock for a long time. Uh, you see Pip trying to get some up hills going, not able to fully connect them. Paradox not able to get that back hill either. Um, okay, tries to go for the F smash then. Doesn't actually connect it, but still hits Cloud. So you know what, maybe not the best, but you're still able to get a hit off. A little bit of a scoop with the up smash. Nice active hitbox, so good in Ws. Definitely, and a really good parry there. Because I'm not sure if Mega Man would be able to punish that on regular shields. Uh, so Paradox getting a good parry. Ooh, I like the idea for Paradox. You know what, just wait out this multi-jab. Just gotta go mm -hmm. out there, try to get the hitbox if we go. Back here, not gonna drag that into anything. Pip, tries to get some uppers going. Oh, and Pip can have to switch to the Charizard here. In a bit of a rough spot, but... <laughs> Damn, that's Dill tough. does not block the, the, uh, the Charizard flavors. side B. That one. <laughs> that one. <Big laughs> Sorry, it's 10 a.m. Uh, and AM. that's gonna be game one to Paradox and Pip. <laughs> Yeah, so let's talk about how you can actually punish that. Just hold shield on mm -hmm. that, honestly. Well, by the way, here's a really cool thing that you can do. What you can do is, if a Charizard is going directly to the ledge with uh, side B, you can get to as close to the ledge as possible and tilt your shield down. Mm -hmm. If he bounces off your shield, you can easily, any character has enough time to jump out there get spike. Even DDD. I'm pretty sure <laughs> has enough time to like short hop and down it and punish the uh, end lag of side B after he hit collides That makes sense, actually, yeah. Because that is an extremely laggy move. Yeah. Um, typically, the only way that Zards keep it safe is by, you know, they'll hit your shield while you're kind of waiting a little bit on stage and they'll fade off. And even then you can probably get a dash attack or something. Oh, no, you can you can still get a spike. Uh, but yeah. Plenty of time to do so. Well, uh, they just try to go directly to ledge, but that ledge can't even play the tilt shield down. Right. That's like, that's like the next level. That's the next level, yeah. Yeah, that's 2025 stuff. I mean, <laughs> oh god, are we going to be playing Ultimate in 2025? <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. Anyways. I'm going to be playing Project Hell. <laughs> Uh, let's see how this goes. Great. I like the Mega Man up here to get things started. Just kind of remove someone from the situation for a bit and also put them in a bad spot where you can go for a juggle and you can try to keep that combo going, but you can also just kind of ignore them for a couple seconds and go 2v1 their teammate. Oh yeah, absolutely. Okay, you just see trying to come in with the dash attack. Paradox still going to be missing that grab, getting a couple of up tilts. A little pilot with a good combo, but then ultimately whiffing that up B that you needed to extend that situation altogether. Comes back onto the stage with side B, a little bit of a down tilt, saying get that little out of here. And wow, big damage they really going in on, a, on him. Yeah, there's been a better start uh, for Red Team than last time. They lost stock very early last time because Mithra was forced to side B. Paradox was able to hit Spike. Um, this time they, they're pretty even on percents. Uh, yeah, we'll see who gets the first stock, but certainly Red Team doing a little bit better this time, but not ready to DI that back throw. Honestly, it might not even have mattered. Ooh, amazing coverage. You see, like, Pip jumping back on, still going to be able to get that up smash off. Tries to go through the jump call out. Good idea. Put fast fall, use fall fast. Able Very to much so. Fast that. Yeah. Fantastic commentary. <laughs> And that was, uh, that was a, a good punish with the up tilt by Paradox, but I think he probably got the percents mixed up because he ended up up tilting the Cloud who was at zero and not the oh, yeah. Aegis at cold percent. Uh, but it works out. They get the first stock off of each of them, uh, but both members of the green team sitting very high, so not too big of a lead just yet. 
Okay, Pitt makes it back onto the stage. A little bit of a backfield. Charlie's on this up to no good. If you look at through that back, it does not land it. All is right in this wiggle today. All is just and holy. But now, Charizard ups. back throw at ledge, truly one of the scariest things to get hit by in this game at any percent. But also Mega Man down it. That thing is a punch to the face. Wow. It is, and really strong against Aegis. I feel like this is a matchup where Mega Man can kind of struggle on stage in the 1v1, especially because of Foresight and also just because of Mithra's speed. Uh, yeah. But we're seeing that in doubles, this team has been able to cover up sort of the, the weakness that could come from that. And instead, really taking advantage of Mega Man's edge guarding, and of course PT's edge guarding oh, yeah. as well, as they take a huge lead here for Sox to two. Do you ever think about like how like just raw Mega Man's down it is? You know, like, <laughs> it reminds me of like in Hunter Hunter like shoot. You know, it's I pretty insane. Like, I have not he, seen that. No. He rides on a hand. He rides <laughs> on his own limbs. He's wild. Anyways, like like he flies on it, but he's gonna be able to get that up smash nonetheless. All right. God, they built that damage up so fast. So the third Aegis stock flies off the board. And now this has got to be pretty rough here. Dill stuck oh, yeah. in a 1v2, four stocks to one down. Okay. Oh, wow. I love that. Combling off that side. He's got it. And that's <laughs> going to be another spike. So many downings connected. 